Hello, we're here today with my little buddy Jerry. He's a yearling and I've been working with him on teaching him how to accept the bridle. So this here is my English bridle. Uh, it has the, the metal part here, it's called the bit, that's going to go in his mouth. Uh, the long pieces are called the reins. When you're riding, those are the part that you hold on to and ask your horse to steer and stop. Um, this strap here is called the nose band and it goes around the horse's nose. And this part goes across their forehead, it's called the brow band. And then up over the top is the crown piece. It's going to go right here behind his ears to keep the bridle on his head. And then this long piece is called the throat latch, and that's going to go underneath his throat and buckle up to keep the bridle from coming up off, over his head. Now, since Jerry's just a yearling and he hasn't worn a bridle very much, I just want to take it really slow with him and let him smell it, try not to eat it, um, make sure that he's comfortable with me doing stuff around him with it, show it to him. And for the sake of training, I'm going to put it on over top of my halter just because I'm not sure how he's going to react and I want to have control at all times in case he spooks or tries to walk away. I got a hold of him. Normally, if you were riding, you would take this halter off and slip the bridle on over their head without the halter underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and these are my steps for putting the bridle on. So I've got him here. I'm going to take my reins and put them over his head. So you can see I've got the reins, and that way I've got a little bit of control of his neck there. Seeing that he's a baby, he's trying to be mouthy and nibble at the bridle. That's okay, I'm just going to be patient with him. So I've got my bridle here in my left hand, and my right hand underneath his neck. And I'm going to switch my bridle into my right hand, and that way I can guide the bit into his mouth. He would not put all the other straps in his mouth. And you can hold the nose band up with your crown piece here to hold it out of the way so you just have the bit. And I'm going to gently guide it up to his mouth and put it against his teeth. Try not to bang him in the teeth. And my thumb might go in the corner of his mouth right here where there's no teeth to help him to open his mouth up. So you can see now he's got the bit in his mouth while I'm holding the bridle up with my right hand. And then I can let go of the nose band and let it come down and gently put his right ear and his left ear through. And then I always like to fix their hair, make sure that it's all laying nicely. So that was pretty good. He's really comfortable with it. He hasn't really objected to me putting the bridle on him. Uh, and then I'm going to take my nose band, put it underneath these cheek pieces that connect the crown piece to the bit so that they are flush against his nose and check on both sides. And then the nose band is just going to buckle under his chin right here. And a good rule of thumb to fit the nose band is you'd like to be able to fit two fingers in that tightness of the nose band. And then the throat latch comes under the throat and I buckle it here and the same rule with that is to fit your hand about four inches or a hand width away from their cheek is the best fit for the throat latch. So you can see Jerry, he's kind of chomping at the bit here. Now as I'm looking, I want to make sure that my bit is adjusted correctly. This one looks like it's sitting a little bit low in his mouth. You want to have two wrinkles here in their mouth. If it's sitting too low, it's going to hit their teeth in the front, and if it's too high, it's going to be pulling their mouth really tight and kind of making them ah, smile. So this one I think can probably go up and there's buckles on each cheek piece on the sides. So I'm going to go two holes on that side and always put your keepers in with the extra, the extra uh, pieces of leather here. They have little tabs that you tuck them into to keep the bridle tidy. And I'm going to put this up a hole on this side, put it back in my keepers. And so there, that's, that's a bit more appropriate. You can see he's just got about one or two wrinkles on the corner of his mouth. So that's how you fit a bridle. <laughs>